So let's open up Articulate Storyline 2 right now and get started. Once the program has launched, click on the New Project button in the top left. So the first thing that I'm going to do with my project is under the Slide Properties window in the bottom right, I'm going to untick the Slide Navigation Controls and under Player Features, I'm going to select Custom for the selected slides and untick the Menu and Resources. This will mean that when we come to publish our project later on, we will just be seeing our project window and no additional buttons or controls around the outside. Let's double click on the thumbnail now in order to open up our project window. So the next thing that I'm going to do is click on the design tab and I'll be setting up my story size using this button. For my project, I'm going to set my story size up as 800 by 600, a typical web window size. But if you want to create a 16 by 9 aspect ratio for your own game, then you can do this as well. Click on OK. So I'm going to go ahead and save the project straight away by going File Save As. And I've already created a Projects Files folder in order to house all of my game assets as well as my Storyline project files. I'm going to call my file Escape Room 001. If you don't use version control in your own projects, now would be a good time to start and learn. The best thing about version control is that if you happen to make a substantial change to your code or anything within your project at a later date, and for whatever reason this then breaks things, then you'll always have a version to roll back to in order to help debug what's going wrong. So in our next video, we'll be taking a look at creating our first object on the screen, which is going to be the slider that will control our background image.